Hi, and thank you for joining me for the Daily Insight for August 2nd. So I have pulled two cards for love and two for finance, and let's see how they uh, work out for you. So the first card we have is the Star card. The Star card is like an awesome card to get. It's about hope. It's about healing. It's about uh, spiritual guidance. It's about being guided from above. So so somebody is being guided from above is what I'm hearing. This is actually like somebody getting messages in their dreams. Um, and it can also mean a wish fulfillment card to some. And it's followed by the magician. That's very nice. So these two cards together are somebody, some of you have the opportunity to actually create the love light that you want. You need to go internally. You need to make sure that all your healing is done. See, we cannot bring the past into a current relationship and expect the relationship to last. If we do not heal from the past, um, you know, so Tommy Joe over here that you used to date, um, if it still hurts you to talk about him, then you need to heal. So for some of you, the healing needs to be completed, then you have the opportunity to manifest and create what you want. So listen to your intuition, make sure that your healing is done, and then you can create the love life that you want. I truly believe we all have the love life that we want. If we don't want a relationship, we date people who are non-committal. If we do want a relationship, we start finding people who are ready to commit on their, or think they're ready to commit. Um, but it's very important, not only on your end to make sure the healing's done, but on the other person's end as well. So if you're involved with somebody who talks about their past people, which well, I don't know about you, but I've encountered that while well, two hour conversation talking all about a, a person's ex, it's like, really, we don't need that. So. Um, make sure that that's all done. A nice, playful, to recapture romance, allow your inner youth and spirit to shine. So that's very nice. It goes very well with these two cards. So while you're going through being guided from above, make sure you know to, to create and manifest this brand new love life that you want, the kind that you want. So today's the day you can actually start manifesting it or you can, um, it's the beginning for you to look at what you want to manifest. So ask for help from above and make sure you keep your playfulness there. The first card for career and finance, and I'm going to relate it to love, is the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is when somebody's made a decision and they're going into take a break okay they're gonna do some resting some meditation so what I'm strongly hearing in relate re, relating this to love some of you need to actually meditate really go inward so this is saying intuition guidance from above really go inward and figure out what it is that you want in a relationship and this is followed by the Eight of Chalice. So somebody is walking away. And if you see, in this particular deck, all the cups are up in the back. They aren't falling over. So whoever's walking away truly, truly has love for whomever they're walking away from. Um, so it's most likely a very difficult decision in relating this to love. Uh, somebody may be walking away from somebody and going to go and do some internal work to create the love life that you want in regard to career and finance some of you may be considering walking away from the company that you may be working for or shutting the doors on your business but what you're being guided to do a for you to do before you walk away from something you've put all effort into. Okay, this person's put their heart and soul into this, all right, and they love what they do, but for some reason there's something going on where they feel they need to walk away from their career 
and they're strongly guiding you to do some meditation, rest, regroup before you make this decision to walk away so that you know it's in alignment with what you want. Now, being combined with these cards, you also have an opportunity to create a brand new beginning, uh, to create the type of career and financial status that you want. So actually, these are very good. Um, you know, if you're doing no good, is coming from where you're at, whatever it is you're doing, you feel you need to walk away, just do some internal uh, searching. Do some meditation. Meditation works really well because meditation allows us to actually align our exterior person with our interior person, our soul. So by doing this meditation, you're going in way deep internal. What is it I truly, truly want? What will make me happy? Star's all about hope, so that applies for both sides. Have a wonderful August 2nd. Much love.